will let out a big gasp because the rush of Christmas is over. Us parents and guardians are exhausted. The kids, not so much. So what do we do? To our rescue, it's Sarah. Sarah, please rescue us. I, that's what I'm here to do because I know that right now kids are home, Christmas is done, and we need some activities we, we can do, do easily and inexpensive. They've been eating candy. They have adrenaline still going. Yes. Sarah with Have More Fun is going to show us how to have fun and keep our kids during the Christmas Absolutely. break active. So what do we got this okay, morning? Okay, so the first thing we're going to start with is some experiments. So these are nice, easy things with stuff you have around the house. Right. So this is some milk. Super simple, just regular milk. And this is a dishwasher detergent. So what we're going to do is I'm going to put some colors of food coloring in here. And then we're going to see what happens when we put some dish soap in with our food coloring. Sarah, how do you come up with this stuff? Do you just, are you in your kitchen and you think, let me just grab some You know some what, milk it's a mix soap? of, I search things and look for some different ideas. Some of them I just come up with on my own. It's just about finding ways to have fun with what's in the cupboard. Okay. Because the last thing we want to do is spend a fortune. Right, on especially stuff after as, Christmas. Exactly. So now what I'm going to do is take a Q-tip, stick it in here, and then we're going to put it into the color. And we're going to watch as it magically oh moves away. So this is a really simple one. It's really wow. fun. You can just keep going and going. It's really pretty. Yeah, and it's, it's very satisfying to do as well, just watching the colors escape from the soap. It is satisfying to watch. I feel like a kid myself. That is great. It's very really easy. easy. So super simple, keeps Beautiful. kids occupied, and all it is is milk and some soap. Okay, what's all next, right. Sarah? So this one here is magic mixing colors. Mm. So what we've done here is I have one cup with blue, uh, water with blue food coloring, this one's red, and two paper towels between them. Mm. So what you can see is slowly happening is that it's going to take the water into here and the colors are gonna mix together. So we end up with wow. almost like a purple. So this takes a while. So this is also great because you set it up, you go away, and then you come back and check on it. So it's a perfect activity for kids to do if you want them to kind of calmly do something for a little sure. bit. This has been going for about an hour, so it's a long oh, haul okay. activity. Yeah, and they can just keep coming back exactly. and checking on it, gives them something to look forward 100 to. 100%, and you can do this with as many colors as you want. So you can have yellow, orange, red, set them all up and see what happens. So it's a lot of fun, and it also is a nice calm activity. Nice, calm, calm, calm is the word. Calm is yes, important. we like calm. <laughs> All right, so this one here is really neat. So what this is, is this is an experiment using density of liquids. Hmm. So what we've done is we've layered these all up. So we've got honey, maple syrup, dish soap, water, oil, and rubbing alcohol. So they all are different. So as you put them in, they stack and they nice. make this really cool rainbow. Wow. So again, this is super simple to do, all stuff around the house but it's also really fun for kids to watch it happen. Try doing them in different orders and see what happens. It's a great experiment, and it's also something you do very calmly. Then what you can do is find other things around the house and try dropping them in and see where they sit in the density. Wow. So they'll sit at different levels depending on what they are. So this is really neat. And it's, again, a really fun activity, stuff around your house, and it's a little bit of learning, but in I a fun way. I was just going to say that it's fun, but also learn. I feel like I'm in school right now. And you know, I got to say, dish soap is the go-to, isn't it? It is. And uh -huh. it's also nice, clean fun. <laughs> All right, clean fun. We'll be back with Sarah with Have More Fun, helping you keep those kids busy after Christmas and over the break. More fun at home with your kids who are at home after Christmas, lots of adrenaline. What are we going to do with them? We have Sarah to the rescue. She's showing us how to take things from our home and just make some experiments and have some fun. Absolutely. So all of these are different textured compounds made out of cornstarch. Wow. So yes, this is the simplest thing. Cornstarch is inexpensive and we probably mostly have it in our home now because yes. of gravy. So what can we do with it to have some fun? So this one here is a mixture of cornstarch and shaving cream, and it's almost like snow. Oh, so and it smells good too. It smells good, you can play with it, you can make it different colors, oh, it squishes, that. you can make little snowmen out of it. Super simple, and it's good, clean fun. It's literally these two ingredients. So and you know super what the kids could do? They could make a little scene with that, with the snow. Absolutely. They could get little figurines. And you can do different colors of it, so it's yeah. a really easy one, just two ingredients. Huh. Now we move over here, our cornstarch comes with us. <laughs> and this is cornstarch and water. So this is called oobleck. Wow. So oobleck is a weird one because if you move slowly, 
you see that your hand kind of sinks into it. If you move fast, it's like a solid. So if you're slow, it's a liquid that absorbs you. And if you move fast on top, it acts like a solid. So this is hours of entertainment and it's literally cornstarch and water. You mix them together and it changes depending on how you move with it. So this is great for kids. It's completely safe because it is just cornstarch and water. And you can see it kind of has this gummy feel to it. Wow. But two totally different things. It is. Yeah, and it's, it's, it's addictive to play with because you can't, <laughs> as you move on it, it changes how it feels. I can't stop staring at it. <laughs> it's okay, really, really, look really away, neat. Look away. It's really neat. <laughs> and our last one is my, probably my favorite one. This one is cornstarch again and hair conditioner. Wow. So this is known as fairy dough. And it's got the smoothest, softest texture and it's great to play with and mold with. And again, just cornstarch and hair Can conditioner. I touch it, Sarah? Absolutely, give it a touch. Oh. It's really, oh, really light wow, and it smells amazing. It's not the way I expected it to feel. And if you're watching at home and you want to know, like Sarah said, it's very, very easy. Two simple ingredients for yep. all of this. If you want to know what that feels like, and even the one in the middle, mm -hmm. wow, that's incredible. So have more fun. Yep. You are helping parents just do it all, right? I'm just trying to find ways to use things you already have at home to have fun with your kids. So you don't have to go out, buy expensive kits, do all these crazy things. These are things in your cupboard and you can do so much with them. And you're on social media. I am. You can find me on Instagram at underscore have more fun. Great. Okay, we'll be back on Morning Live with more experiments, Sarah. Absolutely. All right, more things to touch and more fun to have. Morning. <laughs> We're having more fun, even though Christmas is over, doesn't mean the kids don't want to stop having fun. They have lots of energy and Sarah has come to our rescue, Sarah with have more fun. And you're showing us just what to do with stuff we have around the house to keep the kids busy. Exactly. That's what's nice about all of these activities. They're things that you have at home. And all of these ones use paper and paper towels for some really fun activities. Wow. So the first one here is what I like to call a dry erase race. So <laughs> what we're going to do is we're going to use dry erase on a glass container and we're going to make a couple of circles. Now the cool thing about dry erase markers is when you add water, the drawing will lift up and move. So let's take a look here. Now normally what then I would do is use a straw, which I'm not going to do, but I'll show you how this works. So we're going to pour a little bit of water. We're going to lift up our drawings. Then we would use a straw and blow oh. and see who gets over the line first. Oh my goodness. So, and they move along and they can move along through here. And so it's a really easy activity, a lot of fun. You can also make drawings dance. Just draw a person, put the water in, shimmy them around, all that kind of stuff. So this is a great activity, completely mess free. Yeah. And it's really fun, kids love it. I did not think you were going there with that. <laughs> I had no clue what that was going to be, but that's, and I mean, I would imagine the kids are just, what? It's amazing. It's on? magic, it's right? Like you draw a whole picture, yeah. you add water and the entire picture moves. Wow. Like it's pretty neat and super simple. It is super simple, but great. Okay. What's next? Okay. So now we're getting away from dry erase markers and we're going to Sharpies. Oh, Sharpies. So this is one that we want parents to be there for. Yes. But this is very, very cool. So what you do is on the outside, you fold a piece of paper or a towel in half and you draw an outline. The inside, you color it in. Then you put it in the water and you watch the picture color itself. Oh, wow. So you can do this in so many different ways. It's super, super simple. All you need is the markers. Like here's a rainbow, colors on the back, put them in. Do you have so much fun doing this yourself, I have Sarah? a ton of fun doing this kind of <laughs> stuff. I love it. So again, this is a great one to do. Uh -huh. It has to be permanent. I know that's a scary thought, but yes. they need to be permanent in order for it to work but it is a lot of fun and kids absolutely love it, especially if you do it as a bit of a trick for them and then teach them how to do it. Right, fantastic. Now over here is make your own paper. So this is great, especially with everyone writing thank you cards and stuff like that. Mm. This is how it's gonna come out. Oh, that's pretty. Okay, so what we're doing is we're taking water, some food color. Food color is one of my favorite things because it does so much. We're dropping some in here. And then what we're gonna do is we're just gonna put a piece of paper in, let it absorb the colors in whatever pattern you put it in. 
pull it out. Look at that. Let it dry, and you end up with that really cool paper. It's perfect for making thank you cards or just yeah. making paper you want to draw on. A great activity, and it's nice to do something custom. Right. Any And where would you, should you hang that up? Or yeah, yeah or just lay it on the counter yeah. somewhere where it can dry. This was just okay. sitting on my counter. Thanks. Doesn't make a mess. So super, super simple and a really great outcome. Oh, Sarah, you're a fun mom. <laughs> you're fun, Sarah. We're having more fun with Sarah over Christmas break. We'll be back on Morning Live with more to come. Morning. Wondering what to do with the kids to keep them active, keep them busy, keep their brains going. We got you covered. Well, we don't. Sarah does. <laughs> so Sarah, with Have More Fun, uh, you're helping us this morning just, you know, getting the kids absolutely maybe off their phones, off their iPads, off their video games and doing some experiments. Yes. So we're having fun with stuff that we have around the house so that parents don't have to go running out over the holidays. We're using all the things that we can find at right. home. So this first activity here is popcorn kernels, Alka-Seltzer and water. Ooh. So I'm going to pour a few popcorn kernels in the bottom of here. Is this going to be a big explosion? It's not going to be a big explosion. <laughs> no explosions this time. <laughs> and now I'm going to pop in the Alka-Seltzer tabs. And we're going to give it a second. And then we're going to watch the popcorn start to dance around the container. So as the water fizzes up, the little kernels are going to start to bubble and pop and move around the container. Look at that. Of course, with Alka-Seltzer, it takes a second to decide <laughs> to actually work. And of course, when work. we're filming, right? Yeah. That's just the way it goes. That's the way it goes. But I mean, that looks a lot yeah, like it's a, a lot of fun just to there. watch it itself. Yeah, so it's neat because what it does is it moves it around. Um, the weight of the Alka-Seltzer starts to move the kernels in okay. theory. And of course, right now it doesn't want to work for me because well, we it's on top. Oh, there we go. Oh, Here we, we go. go. Takes it a second wow. to start to pop. So yeah, so you can do this with aqua beads, water beads, popcorn kernels. The whole idea is that the Alka-Seltzer starts oh. to disrupt the water and oh. makes the little kernels dance. Oh my gosh, I love it. Okay, so what's next? Next this one, we have a I squishy egg. Squishy egg. So this here is a regular egg that's been sitting in vinegar for 24 hours. So as you can see, it's soft, it's squishy, it bounces, oh. it's rubbery. So all we do is we're gonna pour vinegar into a cup, put a normal egg inside, come back in 24 hours and see what happens. So this is super simple and it's really neat. Kids are fascinated by this because it literally loses all the calcium off the outside. It grows, so you can see the difference in size and it becomes squishy and soft. Super simple and a lot of fun. It's so fascinating because you think two simple items, we would never have paired them together, but when you do, look what happens. Something amazing can happen, <laughs> exactly. Yes. So this here is a candy rainbow. Oh, nice. So especially right now, kids have lots of leftover candy. Yes. M&Ms, Skittles, anything with a candy coating works well. This is some warm water, so we're gonna pour it on. We're gonna give it a second, and then we're gonna watch as the colors start to come off of the candy shells. So you can it's start to see the green. fading away. Yep. Here they go. Isn't that neat? So it's really cool. And it's a great way to get rid of candy that isn't into your tummy. Right. <laughs> and Sarah, so you're on social media. How can people find you, can you so find you can me help them? <laughs> at, you can find me at underscore have more fun on Instagram. And I will have an entire CHCH highlight with videos of all of these, oh, how they good. work and how to do it. I mean, there are, they, I'm just going to grab this egg as we, uh, throw things over back to the desk. But so again, all simple ingredients, but sometimes it's just so much, just hard to remember. So if they, if they go to your social media Absolutely. handle, you can help them out. You'll have all of these things, including this squishy egg. Would it not be a good idea to play catch with this? You or could would try, it be? but you might want to do that outside. <laughs> okay, outside with the squishy egg. Sarah, have more fun. Thank you, thank you, and on behalf of all the parents and guardians, grandparents, everybody out there, truly thank you for helping us keeping our kids busy You're after Christmas. Very welcome. Thanks so much for having me this morning.